Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Today I decided to tell you which are the most sold out tech products in 2023 divided by category So we are using technology every single day I use my phone, my laptop and my iPad literally all the time I'm glued to my phone and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one so it'll be surprising to see which companies won the best-selling product in each category so right now without further introduction let's get into the video this category for which I'm gonna talk about are wireless headphones and the most sold out according to the internet headphones are by Foco Betas here I'm gonna pop up a picture this is what they look like personally I've never heard of them mostly because I don't use uh, wireless headphones that much. I reviewed once for a video when I was using like used products and testing them to see if they work, but they were but they were not wireless. So these are the most sold out headphones in 2023. And if you thought that the AirPods Maxes were expensive, I don't know what to tell you about this. So the AirPods Maxes are the whopping five hundred forty nine dollars, but these. This on Amazon cost $699. They need to have extremely, maybe cosmic audio or whatever to cost that much. Because honestly, I feel like whenever a good pair of headphones has transparency mode and noise cancellation, because I personally love this, I think they will be good no matter of the price. Yes, probably they are very good for gaming as well. Not only for conference calls and just viewing like regular videos, streaming and all this stuff. But for this price, I don't know what they're made of, but they better be good. Most sold out smartwatch in 2023 is not only one, but really, or not. it really depends on if you have an Android or an iOS device because you can use, for example, Galaxy Watch with your iPhone because it's not going to work. So according to this website that I chose, because believe it or not, there are so many different opinions on the internet that if you're at three or four websites, you will see how bipolar they are. But according to the website that I chose, the most compatible for Android devices smartwatch is the Google Pixel Watch 2. Okay, I'm gonna pop up a picture. This is what it looks like. They believe that it will work perfectly with any other device. And let's be honest, it's cheaper than the Apple Watches. So now for iOS device, obviously your iPhone is the Apple Watch and they decided that is the Apple Watch SE. Here I'm gonna pop up a picture. This is the starter of the Apple Watches. AKA if you have never used an Apple Watch like I did, or you just don't wanna spend that much money, you can go for the Apple Watch SE. Of course, it has some limitations comparing to the regular Apple Watch and the Apple Watch Ultra, but it's still perfect for you. And honestly, the price is one of the key points why people are still buying it. And Apple keeps updating this Apple Watch. And the most premium smartwatch, according to this website, is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. This is a picture. Honestly, to me, if I didn't know it was a smartwatch, I would think it's just a regular basic watch. It's a personal opinion, but I believe that since they are called smartwatches, they should look not only like design and functions, but they just need to be different from the regular watch. Like, you know, the Apple Watches, they're like this square shape. Everyone else, like most of the smartwatches that you've seen are like circle, but even a basic watch is like in this shape. So I feel like they deserve to look different. So you can say, oh, you have a smartwatch, not a regular basic watch. Top can be divided into different categories, especially if you're looking for something specific. Some people look for better performance, other for better graphics, some people for the longest battery, like the operating system, maybe for the budget, because some people want something that works good, but also it's not that expensive. So according to media.com, this is where I got this information. The best laptop overall is the MacBook Air M2. Personally, I will add the 15 inch because I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 14 inch and I have used it for three years and so I should say that it's very, very good. So having a smaller screen, maybe like a 13 inch, it's not ideal for me. I prefer to have something bigger. Also, it's good that Apple finally decided to put something in the middle because there are people who think, Mm, a 14 inch is too small, 16 inch is too big, let's have something in the middle and it's good that they integrated this and now again we started having a 15 inch laptop but also what is the best Windows laptop and this is the Dell HPS 30 so it really depends on the operating system I haven't tested this out, never had the chance but I will say that since they said it must have better performance than my laptop let's not forget it, it's 3 years old 
Also, it worked for, for me every single day. This laptop sleeps only when I sleep. So you can imagine, like, I sleep like eight hours sometimes of trying to, but during the other time, even if I'm not using it, it's still working for me. And they believe that the best sell laptops for students is the M1 MacBook Air. So I will say, it, even if I have never tested out the MacBook, I will say that no matter which laptop you get with a silicon chip, you won't be disappointed. If you have an Intel MacBook, now is your chance to upgrade. Next category is about the most sold out tablet in 2023. And believe it or not, not surprisingly, it's held by Apple. They said, according to internet, 12.5 million iPads were sold in the past year, which is a great number, honestly, for their company. So it's not a lie, it's not a secret that Apple has been holding the market for the tablet section for a long time. No matter what Android companies are doing to make their tablets the best, there is something about the iPad which makes people buy it again and again. They have the regular iPad, which is the cheapest one. And, well, it doesn't have that many functions, but people still love it. We have the iPad mini, we have the iPad Air and the iPad Pro. I'm gonna pop them right here. So basically, no matter which iPad you choose, I don't think you will make a mistake. Personally, for myself, I don't see a purpose using iPad mini just because it's so tiny, but I see that people who are buying it, they have a vision for it. They have already planned what they're gonna do. It's perfect for if you're doing lists, you can work like a little bit giant phone, maybe if you're intended to use it. I have a regular iPad Air, and honestly, I'm happy about it. It was the fourth generation when it came in 2020. And even though it's considered as old, I don't plan on changing it, mostly because let's say that I have nothing to do with my iPad, which needs an upgrade. Mostly I'm taking notes. Yes, I can play top games from time to time, but it's still like nothing compared to heavy tasks that people do. Like some people might even edit their videos on their iPad, which is great. But personally, I prefer to use my laptop for that. But again, Apple is holding the market for the most sold out tablets in 2023. We made it to the end with the last category, which is for the most sold out phone in 2023. So please make a difference between sold out and best performance because I feel like some people might get this confused with what I'm gonna say, or they will tag me. I got this from Insider Monkey. This is their website. I checked it. Also, I found it on Forbes. Even though their article was from August 2023, the information was similar. So the most sold out phone, according to these two websites, is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Here I've got a couple of a picture. This is the phone that I'm using right now, with which I'm filming all my videos. And I have to say, for what I'm using my phone, it's great. The camera is good and it's enough to get me good quality videos. This phone sold out 26.5 million units so as you can see people are buying these phones so the best performance probably it's not on this phone many people will say the s23 ultra is better we are talking about the most sold out so budget is also one of the things that they're looking at but let's not forget about other measures and this is the samsung galaxy s23 ultra which, which is also one of the most sold out phone the samsung galaxy a54 and the a40 so it's not only iphones yes the iphone 13 was one of the most sold out the reason why I'm not mentioning the 15 and all the models from the lineup is because it has been a few months since they have been released. It's not a full year. And the statistics, let's just say that they are not done yet. Also, the 14 and the 15, yes, they have some major differences. But if you're looking at them, they are not that different. So maybe this is why people are just buying the previous model. The Dynamic Island is available now on the regular 15, but we already had it in the 14 Pro Max. And I think it's a uh, well deserved. Okay, guys, that will be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what do you think is the best selling smartphone in your opinion? Is it by your favorite brand or maybe by the competitor? Personally, I think that Samsung and Apple will always have a beef. Also, according to a best laptop, they are Dell, HP, like Lenovo, the one that I'm using. So, really, it depends on the category for the most sold out tech and also what people are looking for. Even though I can afford some expensive things like my iPhone, at the same time, I don't want to spend all my money on a single device. Yes, it might be the best of the best currently on the market, but after all, I like having a budget for myself. Also, the fact that 
for a cheaper price you can find still like best performing technology yes if you thought that the apple airpods maxes were expensive think twice after you watching this video because i really thought they were ridiculously expensive but now as i see that they're even more expensive maybe i'll do more in-depth research to shock myself and probably some of you in a future video i thought that okay maybe now they are not that pricey on a second thought but that will be the end of the video hope you enjoyed please smash that like button i can like this video share with friends and subscribe to this channel turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever i post new videos and i'm gonna see you next time bye